Welcome back. The Ghanaian Times this morning says, clamp down on corruption. Amidu threatens to sue institutions for non-compliance. Uh, Makdan rejects judgment that claims. We'll talk about those stories. And NDC on rampage over vigilante killing. Uh, Daily Guide has that story. And uh, 83 mass lock buses for GPRTU. The police says that the chief slaughtered a ram, not human being as we saw in that viral uh, video. The finder, 1,252 perished in accidents between January and June 2019. The Electoral Commission says it registered 1.2 million new voters under the exercise that uh, ended just a couple of days ago. Uh, daily uh, graphic talks about uh, Mr. Martin Amidou's issue with some state institutions not complying as far as the fight against corruption is concerned. My guest to do the talking, a member of the NDC team, Mr. Abraham Maliba is here. Good morning. Good morning. Hope you're doing great. With this excruciating economy, it can be great. <laughs> Welcome to the show. Thank and you. the chief executive of Maslow, Mr. Seven Amoy, is also here. Good morning. He's a member of the MPP team. Good morning, too. Hope you are doing great. By the grace of God, mm. what we took over mm. is far better today, except somebody who is suffering from unconscious incompetence. Or Grateful. intellectual dishonesty. Yes. Grateful for time. Mother Ruda Ayana is a member of the CPP. Good morning, too. Good and hope you're doing well, too. Well, under the circumstances, as mm. a representative of the ordinary Ghanaian, mm. I think we are seeing what we don't want to see. Grateful for your time. Let's start a conversation. Quickly look at this uh, uh, focal issue. Uh, the, maybe, but, um, but, uh, this number. let me give you the chance to quickly touch on this one before we move. The uh, mass lock buses. If you take a look at page 24 of the Daily Graphic, um, mass lock, uh, the micro and small uh, loan center, uh, 83 buses to GPRTU. Uh, the buses were procured in 2016, but members considered the cost too high to guarantee them any meaningful returns. Now, under this new arrangement were told the paper by the paper that the government has re reduced the prices by 53.5 percent the, the printing is uh, 53 Mr. will correct me if I got it wrong to make them affordable to the GPRT members so a previously price of 705,550 has been reduced to 328,000 uh, the chief of staff did the presentation um, uh, she said that government assumed office it realized that the price of buses were too exorbitant and so it had to reduce them. She did the presentation to the GPR, the photograph of the buses here. But, 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 so, GPR to you, uh, these buses, um, certainly going to improve our transportation system around. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, my greetings to our viewers this morning. Mm. Um, right, I think this then. In the first place, I give thanks to God for what he's done. For us to go through this long, Herculean task of getting this issue mm. that confronted us when we took over resolved. And I also thank the president, the chief of staff, finance minister, <coughs> transport minister, myself, my executives and management, and others that made it possible for us to at least try and reduce he uh, did that we're going to actually incur as a result of the prices that they actually came out with when we procured this. <coughs> these buses. Um, just a brief history. Quickly. When we came, we inherited a number of issues have been to court, even not this on other fictitious contracts and other things. And government had to pay because. Uh, if not, there will be judgment debt. But this was one of them. These buses, each of them, averagely, was inflated by about $30,000. In fact, wholesale price for each against retail price. Don't even say inflated, after how? Because the companies are here, Mark mm. Motors. You can go and pick just proof of my invoice mm. per one bus, even after two years of enhanced model or plus. Plus VAT was to eighty-two thousand dollars. We purchased this at that time, two years before then. Mm. Dollar convertible, hundred and eleven thousand dollars. Even they did not even do duty, no import duty. So if we had added in terms of value, it would have been about forty thousand dollars. So the GPLTU that were meant for these buses decided not to take them. Another small cars. 
So that led the tussle of trying to get supplies, reduce these buses, and we went through a lot because they were not ready to even release. And thanks be to God, we were able to do that. After two years, definitely there will be depreciation. But the buses are in extremely good condition. I mean, you can ask the GPR too. Because we did what we were supposed to do. And the president said, okay, then the best way is to reduce the buses' price. The so that GPR too could pick them and use them. For the small cars, they have been procured at that same high prices. And that is the situation. But as you said, the most important factor is that at least it's going to add value to what is going on on our roads. Because one of the major difficulties we are having in our country is our inability to transport farm produce during hamper harvest from the rural communities and the farms to the marketplaces to make sure that, I mean, in terms of uh, accessibility to food mm. or food security, we can manage. So it's a very good and it's going to create jobs as well. It's going to impact our economy positively. And I think it also has to be advised, even we in government and subsequent government or whatever, or those who will come in the near future, if God permit or not, to make sure that this country, we have a lot. Because these are some of the reasons that in spite of the fact that we have huge resources, mm. we are still sl going sluggishly in terms of developing a country. And when these things happen, one most painful thing is that, right, people don't speak the truth. We live in a country, people go to church and the mosque, and then they think the only thing one can commit is fornication. So even if something is A, they say it's B. And I want to add this to it, Brian. Sorry, Bright, mm. do me a favor. Today I'm not feeling well, I don't know my voice. <laughs> You'll be fine. <coughs> but it's not we finish the show. You'll do me a favor. The media, I beg you, for once, let's pick all the relevant parameters from the economy through social and other things. Mm. And when MPP took over and compare each of them to what is happening today and who caused some and what has been improved or not, rather than making arbitrary decisions and deceiving people all over. Yet we are all educated and we think there is no God. I think this is extremely important. Okay. If you love your child, if you're a woman or a man and you go to church and the mosque and you're as educated as I am mm -hmm. and want to be honest with God and man, two and a half years in government, let's compare one. I mean, do trend analysis and see whether, because at least somebody knows that NHIS had collapsed. And then even Christian... How is he doing now? Sorry? How is he doing now? It's far better. I'm not saying okay. it's 100%. Maslock, our interest rate has been reduced from 24 per year to 12%. Mm. Collateralization threshold moved from 10,000 to, to, to 20,000. Let's talk about industries where collapsing, negative 0.5%. And now it's growing over 16 percent great, 3 percent now, 8 percent. Interest rate for the first time in two years. No government since 92. Reduced by over 1,000 basis points from 32 to 40 to about 22. I'm not saying Ghana is heaven. If you can pay your child school fees, mm. then you think free SHS is no good. So what we are saying is that, yes, there's hardship. Sorry, now who calls them? One government is okay. paying over 60 million to, to settle debt. Maslow, it's not only this money we are paying, you know different areas, different institutions. So okay. we are saying that two and a half years, mm. nobody be honest to God and man per what we have done or the president, I mean the leadership of Kufuado has done to Ghanaians relatively as compared to the previous regime. Let's pick and compare. It's not just going about okay. like I'll give my guests a chance to no pick God. and compare. Madam, a quick one on the, the mass figures are there, right, if you want you to react to them, them and then we, can, the we can quickly go on. Yes, I, 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 I'm happy to know that at least the buses have been put mm. to good use. But you see, there's a problem that we're having with these two political parties parties, the NDC and the MPP, when it comes to acquisition and also um, when it comes to setting policies. At the moment, we do know that these buses were brought in by the NDC, and it's now going. We know also that we still have tricycles. Well, we, we have tricycles. We have tricycles. I'm just talking about the waste yeah. in the system. Yeah. You know, we have, we, have, we have several tricycles in bushes. We have other buses too. <coughs> somewhere else, we have supposed uh, ambulances. Somewhere else, we have, um, uh, I don't know whether they were fitted, mm. medical vans. Somewhere else, we have a whole lot of things. We have uncompleted houses all over the... I wish that this particular government would be able to give us a list of all these things. Because, you see, at the end of the day, you ask yourself, importing all these things, procuring all these things, were they really relevant? 
were they priority uh, 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 projects that mm. we had for them? And, you know, I don't understand. And then listening to Stephen here telling me that um, they gave these buses and that they were going to create jobs. These buses were going to create jobs for JPRTU. But when you're talking about farm gates, they're going to bring food starts from the farm gates and stuff. I would rather have looked at the, the, the tricycles mm. that have been left in the bushes, the tractors, all those other things that have been left in the bushes. Tractors. This, yes. Oh, I, I'm told. I mean, I'm just saying. That's why it's a leg. Yeah, they are I tricycles. Mean, it, yeah, they are tricycles. They are they are by by uh, what buses? There are other buses. They're, no. Oh yeah, but some 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 of us are um, privy to information that there are other buses. There are other <laughs> things like ambulances, whether they were fitted or not fitted. But all I'm saying is that the waste that we have is such that as a country we should be worried yeah. because it's our money, mm -hmm. and at the end of it, we are now being told that it is loans. So which means that you definitely have to pay for it. You understand? So let us not always think that because you see at the end at the end of it all we are trying to save money, isn't it? That's it. But then we do come to a situation where at the beginning of 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 the uh, uh, the governance of this country you then decided you're doing physical what uh, auditing and financial auditing, but at the end of it we're still not told about anything. And then there's also. Maslock is telling us now that these properties had to be devalued by a certain percentage. Has anyone been prosecuted for that? Yes. Do we, have, we, do we have the information? You, you understand? These are all things that will serve as deterrents to all other people who would just think that I would sit somewhere and just import whatever I want to import and throw it in the, in, in the system with no use. Because there's too much wastage in the system and we, we have to try and keep this, the, this menace. It's, it's becoming one too many. So you should also, as, as a government, stop importing some of those things that are already in the system even if they are in the bushes so that we can retrieve them make good use of them like you've done the buses you know and then we we, we will move on as a country this this for me is very crucial grateful mr maliba the um the the buses and the issues uh, surrounding it um gprt is getting these buses uh, the chief of staff is, says that these are uh, uh, we ensure safety of passengers by engaging competent drivers and providing jobs for the people. Let me start by saying good morning to your viewers. You see, when you criticize this government, then members of the government will begin to feel uneasy and attack you. Just like how my brother here attacked me for saying that we are living in an excruciating economy. <laughs> But that will not deter some of us from oh. pointing out the wrongs of this government. We will continue to right point to out the wrongs of this government. Yeah, the things that you you see, <laughs> you allow him. It was you not, react, it was react, not anybody who put the West in Nana Akufado's mouth when he was then a, a candidate that I will transform this economy in 18 months. In fact, when he was speaking, mm. there was no water in his mouth. And he hasn't done that. So if today people are complaining and there's a certain Lekma community <laughs> saying that you came and promised us heaven but you've not even given us F, then you criticize and attack people because for you, you are a special group of people. God has ordained you to rule. It was not anybody who told Nanado that they will build 350 schools in 18 months. They gave timelines. And if the times are in, or we are, the times are due, and you are now questioning them, then they will attack you. I think that type of attitude should be condemned in no uncertain terms. With these buses, clearly the buses were meant to be used. And if they are now being used, it's a good thing. You would know that uh, we have a, a deficit when it comes to transportation. You just need to look at our various um, um, bus stops during the rush hour, in the mornings and in the evening. <coughs> so for me, I think it's a good thing and I don't intend to say anything uh, wrong about it. <laughs> okay, grateful. Okay, well, I, 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 comes, I also come. No, uh, uh, no I, know, would, I would have wished for my, him to tell us friend, why my, my, the my, prices were inflated. Exactly. Okay, okay quickly, quickly you, on that. Was, Who? Yeah. You. But yeah, because, no, I, I, I am. But, but because the case, no, no, no. No, wait, wait. Because the case is wait. in court, no, 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 so no, 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 no. we can leave. But right, right. Let's no, no, no. If it is true that the prices were inflated, we talked about what inflation. Okay, okay. No, not even that. 
Okay. But he says that the price are inflated. And you are asking me why I should have spoken about it. No, he's, that is his side of the story. Was asking Steve it is not a gospel me. truth. Okay. Yes, you, you, I, I, it's, 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 he's an interested party. <laughs> he's an interested party in this matter. You, uh, so he's giving one sided view not, of the, the no, issue. I would have wished that so, you had debunked that, that had been inflated or something. I sought to ignore him because he was giving a one sided account. And I thought that viewers are descending to know that because he's an interested party, he would come and paint the picture black. Okay. But uh, in particular, but, case but, 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 but <laughs> once, <laughs> once, 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 okay. once there's prosecution, mm. he said there's somebody who is being prosecuted. Right. Uh, well, that I is where that is where the <laughs> truth would be told. Okay. So right. the court is yeah, there yeah, to right. resolve okay. this right. yeah. Yeah. yeah, a quick one. Yeah, okay. not on the Facebook, no, but the case is court. Yeah. When I spoke about the fact that the economy is better than today. He responded. I was an interested party. He was. Mm. Then this one, he says that, oh, I'm one side. He didn't want to speak. You see, sometimes I say that some of us that God has blessed us by grace to get to this level in society, looking at our huge social strata or striking as individuals, I think we need to be honest with the people of Ghana. One thing about the NDC is that the propaganda culture is still with them. I mean, this thing, he could have said something. I mean, Ghanaians are even laughing. That lawyer, Amaliba, that he's so intelligent, he's smart, anything he wants to talk on it or about it. This one, he say, well, I won't talk because it's one-sided. God forgive you, my brother. Okay, I'm Thank grateful. You. Now, let's right. touch on this story. Uh, uh, some architects are not too excited about uh, what they claim is uh, favoritism. If you take a look at this story, now, um, Ajayi and Associates, um, have been given contract, 12 of them, for the National Cathedral, New Parliamentary Chamber, the Marine Drive Master Planning, International Center, Cancer Center for Children, Trade Fair uh, Center Redesign, uh, GNPC Accra Head Office, GNPC Takradi Office Complex, the new new news office complex for the Bank of Ghana, a city house two, airport city, or Chihens Palace, a new railway terminal design, redevelopment and expansion of Ghana Embassy in US. Now, uh, some architects are not too excited about that. They're su suggesting that in situations where they have even bidded alongside this government preferred architect and won on merit, a decision is taken to give the project to this um, architect. They appeal to the president uh, to take a look at that and ensure that local architects get some project. They, for instance, say that uh, Ajayan Associates is not registered or not licensed to carry on the profession of an architect under the architect's decree 1968 NRCD 357 <laughs> as amended. He is not a member of the Ghana Institute of Architects and furthermore neither himself nor Ajayan Associates have been registered by the Architect Registration Council pursuant to the architect's decree NRCD 357 as amended. So uh, that's uh, uh, the story uh, that uh, the architect have put in. Uh, this is copied the registrar to the right speaker of parliament and also to the architect registration council of Ghana. Now, um, the issue has become uh, one of public debate because of the, the particularly the chamber, uh, the parliamentary chamber uh, uh, issue. Now, are these architects raising genuine concern? The fact that local uh, architects are being left behind in executing this project are these i mean legitimate concerns let me start the conversation yes right um i think the architects have a point they have they have a case oh. because i raised this issue somewhere else but i didn't see why um everything else that was coming because after i had seen this whole list oh. um going to one particular person <coughs> and i didn't even know then that there were regulations and there were um other deficient um, um deficiencies within the um Th those are allegations you're making well the, these are allegations mm. but um he will have to come out now and tell us whether he's licensed whether he's registered and certified to take up these positions and, and these uh, contracts in this country but you see let's look at it this way i mean i i'm beginning to get worried that people would always and would we, we hear all those things um, it's uh, friends and families and whatnot government we, we wouldn't want to believe that so when you hear that one person has been given 12 very very good contracts to put up these things when we have local and that's the president's relative 
Well, we are told that he have, it's a friend of a friend. It's a friend of a relative oh, of the president. No, I'm saying, you I'm know, reading from, from, no, from, agree, from baby, that. You know, this issue about yeah. we're told. We yes, allegations. Steve, you allow her. Allow her. I'll, 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 I'll come back to you. Um, oh, Ajay, all allegations Ajay, have truth. Uh, yeah, Ajay and associates. Wow. Oh, yes, they do. I mean, let's face it. Are you going to tell me that there are no family and friends members within the government? Is that what you want to say? So if you become president, that would mean you're assessing I'm your relative. No. Mr. Steve Namwa. Please, Please allow her to, to be make a family her point. I'll come to you to react if you want. I'm sorry, that is not. So Please. at the end of the day, I'm saying <laughs> that given all these contracts, you know how much a, 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 an architect will charge? It's almost 10 to 15 percent of the value of whatever is being put there. Mm. And if you are going to put all these things into one person's account, how about the the, the, the other uh, 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 architects who were trained here, who have stayed with us through thick and thin? We are not saying that he's not a Ghanaian. Apparently, he's a Ghanaian yes. trained here. You understand? He did very good work overseas, especially in Britain. And for that, he was knighted, he's a say. Mm. So it, it goes to show that looking at your tradition, where you are so elitist and so, so, so much into such grandiose uh, uh, events, you would definitely want to have him to, to build a chamber for you, to build um, bigger things, so that you get the opportunity to say, this is by so, so, and so, and so. Mm. The ordinary Ghanaian doesn't care whether it's an Ajayi built or um, uh, Ivan Sanform or whatever. But there are people, there are architects in this country who should have been given the chance. If this is true, then it's immoral, it is wrong, and it must not be entertained. We are Ghanaians and everything else that is going to come from the taxpayers' money must be used judiciously and must also be fair and, and, and equitable for everybody else to benefit. Mm. I don't see why, from what we're reading, they're saying even when they do win the contract, eventually it is given to this person. Why? Why, why should it be the case? So I think that they have a point mm. and we should all um, support them because I, from the very first onset that I even heard that he was building the, um, the cathedral, and he was the same person going to build the chamber, I was angry. I felt that it wasn't fair to Ghanaians, um, Ghanaian architects who had stayed on in this country through thick and thin to develop this country. We couldn't just get one of our own coming from somewhere and taking every juicy contract. It's not fair. Stephen, these uh, uh, architects are appealing to the president to step in and uh, ensure that um, uh, activities are conducted in a fair and transparent manner. It claimed that all attempts to reach the president have been unsuccessful. That is why this letter has been thrown out into the media. How did the president react to this? The president react, mm. but let's be very honest. How can I tell you how the president will react but not, from, not to from you, your view, you yes yeah, okay, from your sure. view how should the president yeah. react to this should i think mm -hmm. uh, before then that yeah correct mm -hmm. yeah, i didn't hear you right okay. you are yeah. right yes yeah. um i think um right before we talk about it mm. let's my issue is that let us all really or it is time we really understood the kind of people we are dealing in our society just yesterday mm. A lady was screaming, shouting, a human being was being slaughtered live. If, if you have seen that, now the yes, police, seen the they've arrested her. The police Not knowing it, it was, was just a good. Mm. So I don't think we've heard, I'm not saying all rumors are not true. No. But you cannot infer that all rumors are, have some truth. Some of us have gone through a lot of experiences before. People can just frame up stories. So what I'm saying is that because of asymmetric information that we all suffer from mm. sometimes, look, when issues are up, sometimes even TV3 here, the same organization, you might be privy to a piece of information that other worker might not have been privy to. So when we are discussing these issues, let us do that holistically. In my view, mm. we should understand whether what they are saying is true or not. I don't know. If it is true, of course, as Madame is saying, there should be equitable distribution of the works that people do in our country so that we can spread the economy and even the risk mm. of other people being confronted with challenges in the economy. But let's find out. What was the procurement processes? Was it open tender, restricted tender, sole sourcing? What happened? I think when we get these pieces of information and also cross-check from the other key stakeholders in the issue, who awarded the contract, what body, what was the basis? Even the, the awardee, the company that got the contract, what did he put on the table? Then we can analyze this 
and draw inferences. I hope you understand what I'm saying. Mm. So I am with the local contractors. I think the local people should be given more economic opportunities so that our money stay here. But if the person is also a Ghanaian, then I don't think the deviation is too much. Except that if indeed the local contractors, though who are basically here, they won the contract, then what should that happen? Then there should be investigation into the body, mm. and into the process, mm. so that whoever, but because, right, one thing, I'm not perfect. You know, in every organization, you can be found guilty of being corrupt, either by negligence, by non-compliance, or deliberately, I mean, stealing from the state coffers. Me, intentionally, God forbid, I will never steal from the state coffers. Those who know me, mm. right, me and you, we've worked before. I'm extremely <laughs> very straight person. But I can make a mistake and even be jailed. It doesn't matter. <laughs> but one thing is, what I am always advocating against is corruption. Because, look, this country, we are in serious trouble okay. simply because of corruption. And you can't say only MPP and DC. Can we say the police? Can we say even the church? Can we say the mosque? Can we say businesswomen? Can we say the chiefs? Can we say the media? So it's, it's like an issue that we need to fight as a people, not probably from a particular group. So if there was any corruption in it, people must be punished. But if there is also contrary, I call, I, <coughs> sorry, <coughs> other pieces of information, mm. sorry, I'm having bad truth today, from the other stakeholders, I think the media, that is where your jurisdiction is expected most. Brad, TV3 is one of the best in Ghana. Can you go into the issue? Mm. Find out from other stakeholders what was the process? Was it really for? But, but one thing too, I'm surprised if it is true. Per the procurement law, I'm not a legal practitioner. Right. Lawyer may do better than there. I think because the training that we had, even if one company is giving one, two, three contracts by the same institution, I think by the the war, the, there are issues that they raise. Right. So if indeed it is true, the same company has been giving contracts one, two, three, four, we should find out why only that company, what went into it. But Madam says something that I disagree. That, oh, uh, family and friends, right, we keep on saying this. Let's be very honest. Let's be extremely honest. If you go to U.S., Bush, go and find out. Tony Blair, go and find out. Mm. I'm not saying they should give so now. country... <laughs> Countries tend to brothers and sisters. But the fact that somebody's president does not mean that his really? brother cannot work. Really? No. Ah, is, is that the issue? No, because when the NDC was uh, even in power. I'm coming. We had the same, and, you know. And, we no, Madame, you are alive. Remember, provided, provided the president's brother is doing the new business. Mm. If my uh, president, my former president Mohammed's brother was doing the new business, I'm one person, I will not speak against it. But if you are saying that because somebody is, and they are saying a friend or friend, then Ghana here, Madam, you are my friend. <laughs> Amalba is my friend. Bright is my friend. So if I become president, you have a friend. That is friend, friend, friend. So who will work for Ghanaians? I okay. think sometimes, I think sometimes, let us manage our positions well to let people know that, hey, we are playing neutrality in our, because we suffer too much. Look at Ghana. I can't blame one government. A country, forest, semi-forest, savanna, semi-savanna, coastal belt, each of them is blessed with commercially viable and precious minerals and other things. Our population just 30 million. In terms of, I mean, I mean, skill component of our labor force, Ghana is one of the best on the continent of Africa. But look at poverty. Consistently for over 60 years, job is an issue. Simply because people are not honest analyzing issues. I think this, in my opinion, has got nothing to do with President's brother. Mm. Unless it is found with material evidence. The auditor will say materiality. Then we can conclude. But it's not everything that, oh, somebody's friend, friend to friend, okay. and offer friend, and uncle, and sister. We are not being fair. Are they not Ghanaians? I'm grateful. If somebody is President's cousin, is he not? But if the cousin or brother is doing something against the law, or probably is being given too much advantage against others. No equitability. Then I agree. But you can't say something friend to friend and friend. The Ghanaians, we okay. are all one family. Uh, we are all friends. I'm happy. After this program, uh, I'm going to chat with my brother. I'm grateful. Then we move away. Okay. So please. Madam, I'm sorry to react before I go to Mr. Amalba.
then happy, I go to I'm happy that this government is one that, of the government I'm president happy you are relatives this are not playing a remarkable role because, in what the government is doing. Because okay. your okay. tradition, okay. your tradition was the one that found the CPP to be, you know, appointing just um, a particular group of people. Oh, CPP. Oh yes. But but don't, don't let's talk no, about no, no, I'm telling you, yeah, the group. Yeah, yeah, yes. At the end of it, at the end of it, yeah. Who started? Who started corruption in Ghana? This is your institution. Your institution started. Talking about your, your everything it we are is your lineage today, that started it was it. a legacy from Kwame Nkrumah and CPP. Okay, Kwame did Kwame what? Kruman, yes. Kwame Nkrumah was not the case of your corruption. Okay, Kwame, Kwame, Mr. Malaba, quickly he, come he in here. When your when your founder started, when your founder started, when your started okay. going to you know, the Queen to get tea, uh, and then please uh, allow uh, allow uh, allow Mr. Malaba to step in. Allow Mr. Malaba to step in. Oops, I am grateful. I am grateful. Kwame grateful. The guy from check. Oh, uh, you want uh, to know uh, the restaurants that have been built for girlfriends? Mr. Stephen Amwa, you know, oh, the restaurants and the houses ah, and the cars that have been given to girlfriends, you don't see that one? Oh, I'm grateful. Mr. Amwa, please come in. Right. Baby Mamis, baby Mamis, baby Mamis, baby Mamis, baby Mamis, baby Mamis, Right, you see why I have indicated in my first submission that the MPP think that they are ordained rulers. We are the and best that, in Ghana, not ordained. And that we are they, better than they, they have a birthright to rule this country. No competence right. We were in this country. When the appointment of a lonely cousin by President Mahama made his government become a friends and family That's government. That's not true. That's not true. true. We're in this no. country. No. It's not now, it's more than fast that. forward. It's deeper than that. And you I have he's disrupted his disruptive uh, he's, 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 he's not he conducting himself well. Mr. Malaba to now yeah. you have he's my brother a, too. you have you have a <laughs> government that has come into place. And at the last <laughs> count, you have about 65 family members occupying various ah. positions in this country. At the last count. How could this be possible? Is Cousins. It's possible in the MPP government. Nephews. <laughs> nieces. Just forget about the ex-girlfriends of the president <laughs> who have been made oh, Charlie, this uh, is no no uh, no who have been made no, no, ambassadors no, 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 no. you can't behave who have been made this ambassadors. way ambassadors. what is the source of president no, 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 no. Uh, uh, no, no. now no, you have no you have to uh, Mr. Stephen Amwa please you have to allow me allow me to this is very serious issue I can say this I want you to withdraw that which one the president's girlfriend no no let the president Mr. Stephen Amwa please allow me to handle the issue let's withdraw withdraw the president no, 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 no
a word which is offensive to say someone has a girlfriend. Ah. For the purpose mm -hmm. of your program, I will replace mm -hmm. it with baby m mama. That's all. <laughs> now, the, so now you know the, why the president, the president, the president, the president, any serious president, the, the president appointed all manner of persons. It's okay. All manner of persons. Ah, and this Andrew, Mr. who are related okay. and are closely linked with him in this administration. And at the last count, we counted about sixty-five of them closely related. Some of them blood, blood, blood relations. And so, if Some today would. there is an issue of this. Uh, 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 architect, and the impression is being created that this Ajayi man is a friend or a close friend to the president because there's somebody who is maybe uh, in, in, as an intermediary. It is a it's a concern that must be be, be be taken into consideration because when you were in opposition, you campaigned that you weren't going to do some of these things, and if today you are in power and you are engaged in those things. Clearly, it will be a cause for concern. Now, I heard when you read an issue of the number of buildings that were given four, to him. Four projects so far. To, uh, projects as an architect. And I heard the Oche Hines Paris. Does that mean that state resources were used in that but, one too? That we cannot confirm anything like that. So we need, to, we need answers. Because I will be concerned if state resources are used in respect of private residence. But if one of the buildings, which is the Ochenis Palace, is one that was uh, given to the architect by the Ochenis himself in his private capacity, I think it should go out of the list. <coughs> if it is uh, this, this uh, contract was born by Ochenis himself, then you should go off the list because as a private citizen, you can choose whoever you want. But if it is state resources, then we need answers to it. I am of the view that time has come for us to begin to question the president. Each decision he takes, which is contrary to what he told the people of Ghana in opposition, nobody should shy away from doing that. And I think that it is legitimate but they are calling on the president, I, I, I mean the architects, yeah, right. and already they've indicated that it's been difficult even getting responses from the president. I am telling them that oh. it is <laughs> going to yield no dividends because the president has an agenda to pursue in terms of these issues of giving contracts to people who are close to him. Look at the issue of the GRA boss. Uh, the, the director of the GRE, uh, the board chairman. Is this is somebody right. is it the who, president that gives contract? Who, this is somebody, this is somebody who, this is somebody who, ah, who was at a maritime authority. He engaged in malfeasance there. There's a report which has not been put out there. Those allegations still stand. Once the allegations were there, and you have not been able to clear him, the allegations still stand. Then you take him and send him to, uh, what is it, uh, GRA, where there's actually money sitting there on, 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 in, a, in a pot. I think that this president is simply not doing the things that he said he was going to do. This is not how to protect the public purse. The president said he was going to protect the public purse. But rather, you see the president's actions and inactions suggesting that he is rather dissipating the public purse. The architects are the ones <coughs> who appeal or, or, or petition the president to intervene. And if they thought that the president had no hand in it, they wouldn't have petitioned him. <coughs> and I'm saying that <coughs> even though the contracts were not given to Ajay by the president, I am saying that this attempt by the architects to have the president intervene will not yield any result because the president is fixated in those kind of uh, actions. I think we must begin to hold the president accountable each time he makes any he says anything or does anything that is contrary to what he said. Mm -hmm. right. Okay, Mr. Amala, please come in and I then Madam Rafa from on that one. Uh, we'll move Mr. Amaleba, 
Sometimes I really wonder if you're a lawyer. M M M M M you know what? I'm coming. Mr. Steven Amwa, please. Coming, you boss. can make your point without uh, uh, insinuating uh, uh, these. Okay, please. thank you. No, no I'll, I'll, I'll give you a call measure. I'll insult no, no, him too. No, no, no. Insult me. I'll insult him too. Please. Mr. Steven Amwa. Mr. Steven Amwa. Let's just let him know. No, you. Okay. If you say that, it's unfair. Let him know. Let him know. I'll give it to him. Bright. If a lawyer sees that. They petition the president because they know he has hands in it. Did I say that? No, no. he didn't say that. Did no. I say that? Ah. He said they believe that. Exactly. He, he can intervene. intervene. He okay, they believe, they believe he can he intervene. Thank That's you. What he said. So can I? No, because he has hands in it. Check. Uh, well, well, no, no, no. No, no. 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 Wait, wait. Who hears upside Put down? That aside. Okay. The only one. I'm coming. No. I'm coming. Two, I think if it's about logic, validity, mm. materiality, evidence, credibility of statement there is no profession in the world that is better than the legal profession so for somebody to say that somebody has girlfriends baby mothers i'm coming i'm coming Mr. Stephen, what, 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 you what, can what make your point evidence? without going back to what oh, please, we have left. I have to clear the president because this is a serious statement he, against the president. He's withdrawn what he said. Withdrawn? Yes. Was that, re, re, that, was, was that redrawal? His withdrawal. Did he says, apologize? So I think you can you can make. But your Kenyans point. are watching me. These are the reasons those who go to church and the mosque and vote for NDC personally have problem with their their Christianity or religious. Mr. Mr. Stephen Amwa, because you can NDC, make your point without oh, personally you, getting on people. Please. How can you say Ochihiri's palace? We are asking questions whether the person who has been given the contract and build that thing, they use state funds. Please, 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 please. Lawyer Amaleba, it's just an advice. Your profession the, the, is different. The, the state built. Let people the respect the legal palace. profession. Uh, uh, do, shouldn't we be asking? If, asking what? If, if, no, they don't want if, accountability. Uh, so, um, so can we ask all the used? palaces in no, Ghana? No, I'm saying. Can we no, ask all the palaces in Ghana? No, I'm, I'm, I'm saying that the state built the Yana Palace. If uh, the state uh, what? The state built. But that was public. Palace. Uh -huh. so, uh, so can we ask for clarification if indeed as a state so how many how many policies that have can't been built we in, ask how many policies have no, been I'm built just in asking Ghana? your question so can't why we are we not going to ask otum first policies that uh, who put okay. money in it all right you, you make your point and let's go and check that oh your palace was state funds what we are is saying the name is on the list is please, the names of those on the if list if any mm -hmm. other profession or professional has made this statement i would have been okay but I'm saying that as a legal practitioner, you swore an oath to uphold the principles of your jurisdiction and your profession ethically. So I think Ghana will have a big questions. problem. We have a so much problem. I think you have to change. Just go and ask forgiveness okay. from God. Okay. But I'm coming. This <laughs> maritime thing. Quickly. Once again, it's all borders on legality. Mm. <laughs> is it in court? Has he been proven guilty? No, the report what more is not So who is saying that somebody has gone that he cannot be brought? The fact of the matter is that. The way NDC looted this nation, Suda, Sada, Savan, Wanjida, Woyomi, all those things, and the way on the continent of Africa. I mean, you cannot go by hearsay and say, you know, about mm -hmm. five years ago, what were people saying about Amale Amaleba? Should, there, were, there were allegations. I'm not saying true me. I don't know whether they were true. That Amalega was dating a nine-year-old girl oh, as a lawyer. Mr. <laughs> was that true? Mr. 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 No, I'm asking. Okay, I'm grateful. No, no, I'm asking. No, I'm grateful. I'm not allowing you to speak again. I'm coming. I don't wrap up. There was another allegation. No, no, no. Mr. Sibra, I'm not allowing you to speak again. I am in charge of the show. I'm not allowing you to speak again. Speak again. Yes, I will not allow you. Mr. Sibra, no, I will not allow you. <laughs> Madam, please wrap up. On <laughs> Mr. Sivlamo, I said I will not allow you to speak again. Your microphone is off. I will not allow you to speak again. Mr. Sivlamo, I will not allow you to speak again. Madam, please no, wrap up for me. No, I'm, 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 it's okay. Mr. Sivlamo, you don't want to go there. We don't want to go there. There are allegations everywhere. 14 year olds. So there's allegations. Thank God. Thank God there's allegations. There are, but I'm not saying that we don't want to go there. I've heard of other ones too, and I don't want to Not him. Not him. You say you've heard. Not him. I'm saying that that is the allegation. Oh, the architects. That is what you're saying. Mr. Stephen, please allow me. The architects, the architects, the architects, the architects, the architects are only asking, the the are only asking genuine questions mm. because it comes to capacity. It comes to um, a situation where they don't want Ghanaians to think that they don't have the capacity and that they are not capable. Mm. You understand? Because at the end of the day, all this thing that is talking about twelve going to one person is something that they have put in their statement that. 
the president might not be aware, and that's how come they want him to know. Yeah, that they, is, they actually said yes, they are not sure the president is aware, they are, so they are drawing, they his, are attention. drawing his attention to it. Uh, and that is exactly what we are <coughs> doing here. Mm. We are drawing attention to it so that if the president is not aware, now he will be made aware so that he can see that there, there must be some form of fairness in the distribution of jobs and works in this country. These are some of the things. But I would also want, that it is I would want to fall. say that... Madam has not allowed the letter land before I also want to say that at the end of the day, the wasted, you know, the wastage that we have in society mm. is just too much. And therefore, we would want yeah, for yeah, them to I come out with a list of all this, the things that are out there that we can use so that we don't go out there buying the same CMT's. things again. Mm. This will save us a lot more than we 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 now. Okay, no. no. Mr. No. Mr. No. Mr. No. But don't 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 no. react to this. No, no, no. 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 I'm a lawyer. Mr. 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 No, allow him. He has a right to respond or not to respond. So please allow him. Hey, the, silence means concern. The, the, That's serious statement. The issue here, they say man probi. Mr. Stephen the, the, the issue, the issue here. She was Amali. That's what I heard. I don't Mr. Know Stephen Amali. The, the issue here is that <laughs> if the architects think seriously that there is a breach of the Procurement Act in trying to procure this Ajayi alone okay. to engage in all this, they can also draw attention to it by filing a suit because uh, there's a breach of the procurement act um at this point i think that what they are doing is trying to use the influence of the president to intervene but i think that this president is not the kind of president who will listen to them because he's on a trajectory and so i think that what they can do here now is to resort to legal action if they think that something has gone wrong legally. Yes. Mm. Okay. Grateful. But let's. But you, oh, no, you can't. You, well, you, if you want to. Not this issue. Five, five seconds, quickly. Oh. Because I'm wrapping up. Um, I think the president is a listening government. Mm. And I believe if it's get to him, he will make sure that he actually offer, offers this particular issue the needed attention. So I'll beg the architects mm. to eschew all forms of uh, behaviors that will mar the beauty of whatever investigation that they will put into the processes. They should go ahead, engage the presidency or the relevant institution, mm. and let us conduct investigation into this issue so that if there's anything that went bad against the state, mm. it will definitely, you know the president, he is not somebody okay. that condones any antisocial behavior in the society. No. That one, even lawyer Malba knows. Mr. Malba, you are you are a lawyer. Let me pick your thought briefly on this. The Occupy Ghana is asking for investigation to um, uh, focus uh, bail. Uh, what do you think? Too legally? late. Too late on their part. Um, the statement is too late. You know, Afuko was granted bail, hmm. and for three months. That's what I'm saying. It's too late. For three months, the state denied that bail. So that was the time Occupy Ghana should have come in. So Occupy Ghana is now coming in because of the reversal of the bill by the judge. Mm. But I thought that there was a point in time when the man, I mean Afoko, needed people like Occupy Ghana, needed the Ghana Bar Association mm. to intervene so that he could get that bill. Mm. And for close to three months, he was still kept in BNI cells. Mm. And I think that this statement it's coming too late in the day, and then also the Ghana Bar Association's failure to also make a statement when there was travesty of justice against. Uh, so Africa. that even if uh, it is too late, can investigations be done and those found culpable punished, sanctioned? Well, there was. Uh, that's why the IGP was uh, the IGP and the CID boss were hauled for contempt. <laughs> they were responsible for keeping him, mm. and when the order was made. They were supposed to release him oh. because he had made a bail condition. Why was he kept for close to three months? For me, that is where the issue is. I don't know how the contempt matter went because they had. I think the ruling is it's not done. It's not yet yeah. done. Okay, so okay, maybe they will be punished. I'm, with I'm grateful. Issue. I'm grateful. Uh, Mr. Maliba is a member of the NDC system. Madam Rodayan, a member of CPP. Mr. Steve Namwa, chief executive of Maslock and a member of the NPP. Grateful, uh, gentlemen and ladies, for your time. Yeah.
Have a good morning once again. Uh, sports takes up your screens next. Stay right here.